As many of you are aware, the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS eShops are closing down March 27, 2023. That's only a few short weeks away. So if you wanted to keep your systems legit and download some games, this is your last opportunity. Just a little heads up, not what this video is about, but I do want to talk about the Wii U. So I woke up this morning and I saw a lot, I saw a lot of fear floating around concerning the Wii U and how you could brick it just by not using it. And I'm like, what's going on? I'm scratching my head over here. Like I have two Wii U's, let me plug them in, make sure they're fine. Like this one behind us, the that you see the UI, I haven't used that one in a little while. It hasn't been crazy long. Last time I used it was because one of my kids wanted to check out the, you know, and play Minecraft for the Wii U and compare it to other versions they've played. So we bought a physical copy for like 10 bucks and there you go, it works. It's still fine, but then I have another one that I bought off a of offer up and like a big lot, resold a bunch of the other stuff, essentially got it for free that I never really used. So I plugged that one in, seems just fine. Did have a bunch of users on it with a parental pin. There is a website where you don't have to contact Nintendo. You can just use this website without hacking your system to remove the parental pin off of a system because it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I've already done that. I'm gonna factory reset that full and then most likely hack it. I'm gonna keep this one legit, I think, but yeah, however you wanna go about it. But yeah, you could brick your system, supposedly. So I wanna pull up this article, let me get it going here, that I saw a lot of people referring to, this Xputer uh, article here. You could brick the Nintendo Wii U just for not using it. The console is haunted by a severe bug, leading to a slow death. And then in the story highlights here, they state that it, uh, the Wii U console appears to get corrupted if it's not used for a long time, eventually suffering memory errors that brick the system. It's a NAND corruption issue that bricks the console, and it's unfixable if you didn't have a NAND backup made prior to this happening. That kind of sucks, right? Is this fear-mongering, though? It's not, because this, I mean, maybe it's not due to not using the system. Maybe it's due to some other thing, already a failure within the, the NAND. I don't know. But you'll find reports from the past few years of people having the same issue with the, the corruption and their system essentially being bricked. It has happened. But what's the root cause of it? Obviously, it's something to do with the NAND, but is it simply because they weren't using their system? Some people claim it, but I, I don't know for sure. Like, what are you to do? Like, every few months, plug in your Wii U if you don't use it all the time? I guess, right? So they go on to say... Uh, Many reports have surfaced online, yeah, like we just talked about, but then they state Nintendo doesn't offer official repairs for the platform anymore. Obviously, I mean, it's way past its its life cycle here. The eShop's closing down. They don't want to mess with it. You're stuck. And that, that leads me to wondering, like, with all newer consoles from, like, the past, I don't know, 15 years or so, are we going to wind up having these issues where parts in them degrade memory, storage, you know, something degrades, gets corrupted to where when they're a legacy console 20 years in the future, they no longer work? Is that a possibility? Because it's not like going back to the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis. Those consoles are essentially like, you know, indestructible. As long as you take care of them and you're not like keeping them in a, a sewer or something, they should be fine because they, you know, they're complicated for their time maybe, but they didn't have a bunch of parts that you know, could just easily go corrupt or possibly could go corrupt. I haven't heard of it. I mean, I guess anything's possible, but I've never like had a Super Nintendo or an NES that I've bought that was in okay condition or even where it looked like somebody wiped their butt on it and threw it against the wall where I couldn't get it to work, you know? So it just makes me wonder, man, the future of uh, games. That, hey, well, at least we got emulation, right? As long as that that keeps going, there's an option to play these games, but sucks for people who want to keep their systems. Maybe revisit it as a grandpa one day. Like, I want to play my Xbox 360 or my Wii U, and it doesn't work? Damn. And then they got to figure out emulating it. Maybe they'll have, like, a, a, a some kind of chip installed in their brain, and they could just visualize it. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. But I think this article, it goes on just talking about um, other like people posting about this. Uh, let me see. It says this uh, Nintendo Wii U's had its fair share of impediments that have plagued it. A NeoGAF user notes that not using a console for longer periods can lead to it being entirely corrupted. In other words, it becomes unusable due to lingering memory system issues. Is it because it's just sitting around not being used? I don't know. That just seems weird to me, but 
maybe it's true. Does NAND memory, like I know every kind of storage and whatnot can degrade, but does NAND just become, I've heard of like NAND storage. Like, yeah, I've heard of corruptions and whatnot, but I've heard of like where like it could still read from it, but it can't write to it type of thing um, at, at a certain point. But yeah, it seems like people are having this issue. It says uh, factory resetting the console couldn't resolve it. A NAND backup could save it. It would be a very thorny process without any official support. Now, a single failure would not hold any weight, but the Nintendo Wii U is chock full of similar reports across many forums, and that is true. Um, like this one, uh, this Reddit user, John, with a bunch of numbers, met a similar fate. Not using the system for five plus years, I decided to get it out, but upon startup, I get a black screen with the 160.0103 error code suggesting a system memory failure. Maybe it is because they're not using them. That, that's crazy. I, I'm, I'm not a rocket scientist here. I'm not a Wii U engineer. I'm not a NAND specialist. But this just seems nuts. If you don't use it, this could possibly happen. That sucks, man. That sucks. Like, are you going to, like, every, okay, I guess we got to warm up the Wii U. Just sit there, turn it on, stare at it for five minutes, and then turn it off, put it away. And then we're going to make a celebration about it every two months. It's, it's Wii U Fridays. I don't know. Kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, they they have other people talking about it. Wii U internal memory repair, same error and another error. Narrowed it narrowed the issue down to the internal storage being corrupted uh being as I can download and run games off the external storage without any issues. However, I try to download any updates onto the internal storage, the download freezes. Well, that one sounds like they could still at least use the system. Huh. Many other reports have uh, been witnessed over the years. Was yeah, that they already talked about like not being used for five plus years. So many current owners are worried about the eventual corruption of the portable console because of all the reports. There are many more complaints available on the web, all boiling down to the same conclusion. Most of the users suffering from system errors specify that the Wii U remained unused for a long time. I guess put it together, maybe that is the the like not necessarily the root root cause, but it occurs because the system hasn't been used for so long. That just seems nuts. But hey, I, I don't know. Fear mongering or not, it is an issue that's happening. Is it like because they're not using it? I don't know. But it does happen. It appears so. I mean, it's there's a lot of reports out there. So the Wii U appears destined for a slow, quiet death without being used for a while. The only practical solution for now is to power on the little giant once in a while to ensure a system, system memory error does not occur in the future. It is hoped that more practical solution will be discovered, but that is very unlikely due to its age. Are they challenging people? Because there's a lot of people out there, you know, who are into coding and, you know, reverse engineering stuff. They figure out these problems. So maybe it's a solution that somebody will figure out how to, like, recover, uh, you know, we use that just are completely bricked which then at that point they wouldn't be bricked if they could be like unbricked, you know, maybe somebody will figure that out. I, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, there's some cool stuff to play on the Wii U. It'd be a uh, kind of sucky to have them. And then just one day they don't work anymore. What are you going to do? Just toss them. I don't know. Do you have a Wii U? Has this happened to you? Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all watching. Bye.